Hi everyone and welcome to Mighty Kiddos. In today's video we will cover all the steps you need to take when introducing solids to your little one and what are the signs your child is showing readiness to do so. At Towards the end of the video I will also share some products that have been very helpful for me as a mom of two. So stay tuned! <music> This is such an exciting stage where we are starting to introduce solids to our little guys or to our little ones. This is their first, um, this is their first experience of flavor <laughs> other than formula or milk, right? Or, or breast milk. My little guy loves, loves, loves food. I have been feeding him since he was five months. It is recommended that you start solids though, however, at six months. Typically, um, on average, because everybody develops differently, there's kiddos that start as early as four months and there's others that start as late as eight months. So there is a gap of four months, right? So one of the things you wanna look for is making sure your child has proper head control, right? So when you're holding him or when you're carrying him, making sure that he's able to turn both ways, that he has control of his neck, you don't just see him flopping around everywhere. We wanna really make sure that he can control his head. If your child does not have proper head control, then that could be a choking hazard when introducing solids. Another thing that's recommended is that your child's able to sit upright when introducing solids. I personally did not wait for that one. I started feeding baby Z as, as early as five months, I believe. He wasn't sitting upright as well as he does now. He was mainly sitting more like a curved C if you looked at his back. But um, he was showing all the other signs. The other signs are that they're showing interest in food, right? So when you're bringing food, when you're having meal times, he's looking, he's showing curiosity. Sometimes they salivate. Sometimes they do a mmm, mmm, mmm when they see you eat. Although they've never had solids in their mouth, they will definitely do that. And that's a good sign that they're ready for it. Another thing that I found uh, very helpful for me and getting baby Z ready was I did some oral stimulation exercises that were mainly geared to help him latch better uh, for nursing and to get him ready to eat solids. So if you're curious about what those exercises are, I will link the video in the comment below. But because I did those exercises, I knew that my son was ready at five months. I was checking for him to be able to um, chomp down on my finger when I put it into his mouth. And also I was noticing that his tongue was moving left and right in, you know, just when he was on his own, um, you know, to uh, mouthing toys or putting his fingers in his mouth. So that is an, also another good sign that we wanna make sure your child has good or proper tongue control when introducing solids. I will tell you one tip um, that for me was crucial when introducing solids. I learned that the gag reflex when they're infants, when they're younger, is at the tip of the tongue, right? So when you're nursing them, sometimes they go like that from the tip of their tongue. However, as they get older, as they mature, the gag reflex is just a reflex, moves to the um, to the back part of their tongue, which is where they feel the solids when we feed them. So that reaction of the gagging is not them choking, is just a reflex. Gagging doesn't necessarily mean that he doesn't like the food, that the food is yucky, it just means it's a reflex. Now, in terms of feeding solids for kids, there's two ways of doing it. There's a puree route, and then there's the baby led weaning route. What I chose to do for baby Z was a combination of both. And the reason why I did that is because through my research, I found out that it's not it's not really good to just skip the whole puree part because it's important to give your child the puree um, food so they can still continue to have that texture input. Sometimes when kids skip the purees and go strictly to baby led weaning, which means like more solid foods, soft but solid foods, your child can develop an aversion to soft textures and then lead to picky eating later on. So in order to avoid that, we want I, I chose for my family and for my lifestyle, it was best to give him a combination of both. Um, another thing that you wanna keep in mind when feeding your baby solids is the proper high chair. You want to make sure your child is seated upright. It could be supported, right? Cause that's what high chairs are for. You wanna make sure they're strapped. I know sometimes parents don't wanna strap them because they're afraid of a choking hazard, but you still wanna keep them safe, right? And the other thing that you wanna look for when getting a high chair for your child is making sure that they have proper support on their feet. When they don't have the proper support on their feet, they get to be wobbly and that keeps them from concentrating on um, taking food into their mouth and it can potentially cause choking hazards. So we want to make sure that they're able to sit upright, well supported, and that they can concentrate in the main task at hand, which is 
you know, taking in all the flavors and textures of food. So make sure we are looking for that, right? Proper tongue control, proper head control, and proper balance and support when seated when introducing solids. First time we introduce solids, we wanna make sure we start with a proper amount of food. You could start off feeding your child one tablespoon of the puree food once or twice a day. Like I said, follow their lead if they don't like it. I mean, eating solids for the first time does take a lot of work. Now let's move on to the um, products that I found very helpful and that you must have before you start feeding your child. The first thing is you kind of need a high chair. So you want to you wanna narrow that down. Get a high chair that I said supports your child's feet when eating. Um, I will do a video on the high chair that I used and I will give you more tips and details for that. So stay tuned. Um, I also, like I said, I decided to cook my baby's food. So I had a baby food maker. Um, if not, then just research the brand of food that you feel more comfortable with. Um, buying for your child or just make food at home with other ways without having the baby food maker but make sure you figure out where your food is coming from the other thing is getting um the plates and the spoons that are more helpful for your child i went down the route of um silicone plates and spoons I chose these plates. These are the ones I like best. These, uh, I forgot what the brand is, but I will link it down below. They're bamboo and they have this suction part here. It's so strong. It really does not budge when my son hits it and, net and just like goes nuts on it. So I really like this. I could definitely vouch for the suctioning part on the baby's tray. The other thing is in terms of spoon, I got some training spoons that I bought him. He has not used these yet, um, but I do like to have them to introduce it to him. My number one spoon that helped when I was first introducing solids to him were, were these. They're so thin, so they go into their mouth without any problems, so they don't feel the texture of the spoon so much. So that's what I liked about these. And so I would definitely highly recommend these spoons over anything else. I would say get these spoons because these are wonderful. Um, and yeah, so those are the things that made it a lot easier for me. I hope you found this video helpful, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying or are feeling prepared to introduce feet, uh, solids for your child. As I said, this is a really fun stage for me. I like to see my son's face when he tries new things. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and sub consider subscribing if you haven't already, guys. Help this channel grow by spreading the word. As always, I appreciate you watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.